Hi everyone, how are we doing? Hope we're keeping well. Sorry it's been a few days, in fact I think it's been a week now since I released a video, which is most unlike me, but it's for good reason. I've been out on my missions, on my adventures, I won't give too much away at the moment, but all you need to know is that there is a mission incoming. There is a straight line mission incoming, as well as another really good adventure which I filmed in September. As a result of all the filming and the imminent editing, um, videos such as this one and GeoGuessr videos will be a bit more thin on the ground, but I'm pretty sure most of you will agree that that's okay, that's for a good cause. Uh, right, GeoDetective was left last week with a successful uh, search for Ian Clutterbuck. Um, we figured out eventually, uh, only after I realized the image was flipped or reversed, uh, that this is in fact Kader Idris in Snowdonia National Park. Um, yes, I, I don't, look, I've only had this iPhone about a year. I'm really not good at phones and I didn't know that the image was flipped on a selfie. Thanks all the comments that pointed that out. But it was a good one. Um, took me perhaps a little longer to get it than, than I should have done, but we got it. Uh, now, Hugo Dudesworthy, I haven't forgot about you. You emailed me, didn't you? I have read your email. He was wondering why I'd skip past him. I did. I thought I explained. It, it's hard. It took. It, I had a couple of hours on it with, with no avail. And I just haven't got time. I haven't got the time to invest in that at the moment. And I'm afraid, Josh Cherry Janulus, I'm going to have to do the same for you for now. I'm going to have to put you on the back burner for now. I haven't tried to find Josh at all yet, but I just can't see it being an easy one. Um, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to move straight on to these two. Um, they both look Eastern European, or at least European. And the first one was sent in by Juho Huheho. I wonder what is, is that a Finnish name? I don't know, but the names really are starting to get interesting now. And then Julieta Frelsenthemba sent in this one. So I'm hoping that because they're in cities, I can get these both done today in a decent time. Um, this one apparently is in the old town. Now surely I can get that minaret or tower or whatever that is. So hopefully I can get these fairly quickly for you today. I do apologize that it's not gonna be a hard one. I'm sure you understand. But here we go, we'll go into Juho's photo here and Surely this is in a country such as the Czech Republic. I'm just going to colour in Ian's uh, cell green. Hugo we will leave. Josh we will leave. Only temporarily. Do not worry. I'll be coming back for you two. Um, and we'll move on to Juho or Huho or however it is you pronounce that name. Right. Where do we start? Where do we start? I think I think what I do is I try and describe this tower. I think that's what I do. I'm going to I'm going to it's not the best quality photo as you can see it's quite blurry. I don't think this one's been flipped. Why would it have been? It's not a selfie. That Yeah, I th I think we can find this tower. I think that's our key. So this is going to be a case of Googling, I think. I wonder if in order to find this tower, I'm going to call it a tower, it might be called a minaret. I thought minaret was a Muslim thing, which this isn't, I don't think. Um, but let's call it a tower. Um, I wonder if I'm going to have to get some terminology up. Thin white tower, Czech Republic. That's what I'm going to try and use at the moment. Let's keep going down because I'll, I'll move through the countries. But yeah, I think Czech Republic is quite likely. If it's not, I think Slova I'll move on to Slovakia or Slovenia. That might be Ljubljana. And I'll keep moving through. First of all, well, second of all, what is a minaret? Is that... Yeah, typically... Oh, okay. Typically part of a mosque. So typically, yeah, so that is 
Muslim only, right? Minaret. So let's erase that from our brains. It, isn't it hexagonal or something? One, two, three. Yeah, I think that's hexagonal. Eastern Europe, right? Interesting. So I'm going to get rid of the Eastern Europe. I'm going to put in check. Not getting the hex. The hexagonal is not coming up at the moment. Slovenia. Slovakia. There are other countries that this could be in, of course. The same tower is coming up, so I'm going to get rid of this hexagonal. White tower. I need a better name. I wonder if there's a better name for this. What is that? Church, I guess church tower. I wonder if I just, yeah, just get rid of white. Church tower, Slovakia. And just keep going down, you know. And then move to Czech Republic and so on and so on. That's a lovely tower, that is. So I'm almost out of countries and it hasn't come up yet in the Google search. That's fine. In a way, I that would be too easy. That would be too boring. I'm thinking about going into Google Earth and I'm thinking against it at the moment because that really is a laborious process and it's one that will take a long time and it's one that I don't want to commit to unless until I've tried all other options, right? On this building here, this kind of overlay, I, I don't know who who did that. Was it was it Huho? Or is, is it, I, I don't understand at what stage that was applied, but um, it's got a red roof. So I'm just gonna try something quickly because it doesn't take long. Red roof, white tower church red roof white tower right and it's kind of a, a rogue thing to do because we can't see it we can't see the roof we can only see a, a sort of very simple animation of it but these two colors are correct so why wouldn't that one be um, so let's keep looking on this and I'm gonna again combine that with uh, different countries red roof white tower okay right is that hexagonal one two I think that might be s that will be seven won't it so hexagonal so septagonal how do you say that septagon Septagonal, right? Look. Wait a minute. It's got a red roof. Oh, do you know what? I, that's not it. Amazingly, that's. I don't think that's it because we haven't got all of this fancy stuff here. It's not it, but where is that? Because that, that's the kind of... So that's Tallinn, right, okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe I've been neglecting the Baltic states a bit too much. Could we be in the Baltic states? Yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. I haven't been to any of them, so what do I know? But look at these. Okay, right. What, what was that there? Why did we have... Similar images. Oh my goodness. Let's get on these similar images. Look at that. That's got to be it. I wonder where it is. Okay, that, that's it. That is it. So where is that? Tallinn. Tallinn Town Hall. I'm sorry for, for neglecting you, Estonia. Um, I was just about to, if I didn't see that image right then, 
I was just about to uh, Google White Church Tower. So let's let's do it. White Church Tower, Estonia. Let's see what would have happened. Um, so all, straight away it would have been like oh, okay, similar architecture. But the church in question hasn't come. There it is. Yeah, I, hopefully I would have seen that. Hopefully I would have seen. Is that it? That's not even it. That's crazy. Wait a minute. Sorry, sorry. I'm getting confused here. That is the initial church we Googled. But that still happens to be in Tallinn. So they're both in Tallinn. The one that came up for me and this one. There it is, look. Not, clearly not the most prominent piece of architecture in Tallinn. So it must be, I mean, you can see there there's one, two, three other stunning churches. So it's one of many. And that's why it was a little bit tricky to find. But I can't believe that one's the initial one that came up that I thought might have been it. Anyway, we've got it. Uh, let's get in on Google Earth and, and locate it. And we'll use the 3D buildings function. As we get into Tallinn here. And hopefully, it'll just pop out of the sky for us. Once it loads, I can see a couple here. There's that one. Looks like the Taj Mahal. There's that one, the more square one. Even more square one. Is that it? That's the one. That is the one. So the roof is orange. It's not as red as as that one there. Uh, but yeah, that definitely helped us. Right, which angle was Juho coming at it from? There's no sun in the sky, so we can't use that. We're just going to have to find this square find the building so we can't see the rest of the building at all can we can't see it I think he could be down here somewhere we'll soon see yeah am I right yeah that is correct yeah, we can see that modern building. I didn't really see that properly because it's from such a tight angle. But yeah, we're further down and there is the castle wall. Beautiful. Would love to go here. Let's put the man down again. Yeah, that's... Oh, wait. It's very Christmassy here. Yeah, he's here. He's here. We can see... The top of it, the window, yeah, 100%. It just looks very flat from this angle. Uh, okay, I've got you, hoo-ho, juho. That was a good little round. <clears throat> you tested me for a while there. You had me worried, but I knew deep down that, that was, that's got to be a pretty notable, touristy, historic city. Um, I was just searching in the wrong countries, so apologies to the people of Estonia for not considering you for long enough. Um, it's a beautiful place, if that makes up for it. So I'm going to put my marker down right here. Juho hu hey ho. And that's job done on that one. Um, Juho, I mean, you can let me know by email if you like, but I'm, I'm confident enough in that one. Let me know if I'm wrong, put it that way. Oh, which reminds me, I forgot to mention this at the start of this episode. Ian Clutterbuck did get back to me in the emails and I was correct. That was a correct pinpoint. He didn't have the exact location to the meter, um, but he said, yeah, I mean, that's about as close as you can get, he believes. So that's why I did color the cell in green earlier. Um, just in case you thought I was just presuming. Uh, right, we move on then, having conquered Juho's picture. Where's the arrow? There it is. And we move on to Julieta. Julieta Frelsenthember. 
and it's it seems to me like another Eastern European, if you if you can allow me to use that phrase. We've got orange roofs again. We've got a river, and Julia is Julietta. Sorry, is um, you know has had a snap taken on this bridge, a white bridge. The church here looks notable, looks beautiful, but again, it's not the clearest image that we have here, uh, but that does look like a beautiful church and one that maybe we can Google, but again, it's the same issue. I don't know exactly how I would go about Googling those. Brown and white twin, oh, okay, I'm gonna go straight in. Brown and white, I mean, this is an awful Google, you might argue. Brown and white twin steeples. Right? That's not triggering many algorithms, the whole brown and white thing, but that that style, we've seen it. I've seen it before. Is it is it Polish? What is it? Could be Polish. Um, Polish style church. Yeah, again. Don't think this. Mm, I don't think this is the way to go. But that, that's sort of along the same lines. Twin steeples. White. Trim, white trim, right? Like on RuneScape when you get your, your Rune Kite Shield trimmed. White trim. No, that's a crap Google again, Tom. Okay, why? <laughs> They've been trimmed white. What can I say? Okay, so not too much look down that avenue trying to describe these churches. White bridge, white metal bridge, tram. Tra there's trams, right? White metal bridge, tram. Let's try it. I'm just trying to go for the jugular here. I'm trying to, just in case they come up, and if they don't, which they won't, I'll go into more detailed techniques. So white metal bridge tram Poland don't know why I'm just I'm thinking Poland white metal white steel steel would be better okay pretty shit Googles right agreed so how do I find this church? Red, white, twin steeples. Oh, where's that? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Where the fuck is it? You bastard. You bastard, Daryl Brooks. I want to know where that church is. Anyway, back we go. I'm totally, I'm totally going off course here, and wasting all of your time. Uh, yeah, here we go. So get rid of that. Yeah, this that's closer. White and red. Yeah, white and red. Wow, that's very red. It's Russian red. I wonder if it could be Russia. Do you know what? I'm gonna do something a little bit different, if nothing else, to just spruce the video up a bit. And I'm going to go into some Polish cities on... Are we recording? Yes, we are. I'm going to do it on Google Earth. I might not be too successful, but I'm going to... it shouldn't take me too long. I'm going to go into some Polish cities and see if they're on a river. See if things correlate, right? I'm going to take a little break from that and just try something else. So, um, beautiful riverside cities, Eastern Europe. And I'm not looking on images. I'm going to have a look on this. I hope there's more than 25. I think I need there to be quite a lot. But this is what I'm looking for. Riverside cities. Would this qualify? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. Uh, it may not. Mm, okay, 
Searched a few cities. I'm gonna go back down the church route now. This sort of, well that's in Chicago, but it's that sort of thing, isn't it? Hungary, it could be Hungary. That could easily be Hungary, actually, thinking about it. Um, so if that's a Hungarian church, oh, that's in the US again. Okay, I'm on red brick church style at the moment. I'm going to see if I can trigger that same thing I did last time where I find similar photos. Um, try and get as so close to it that it leads me to it, if you know what I mean. We want European. Brick Gothic. I've seen that phrase crop up now a couple of times. Yeah, it's not too bad. Brick Gothic Twin Clock Towers. Okay, I'm gonna find, okay. Brick Gothic Twin Towers, that's that's in the USA or Australia, but it's inspired. It's it's not a million miles from what we've got. Like you've got the banding. I'm going to call it white banding on the top of the on the steeples there, and just general white trim all over. That's very similar in many ways. So the Tower of the Votive. Let's let's get get onto a page for that. Zeged. So where is that then? I hate how they just don't tell you where these things are. Tell you what, I'm going to type in Zeged on Google Earth just to mix things up a bit. So where's that? Is that in Hungary? Where are we? It sounds Hungarian. Yeah, okay, we're in Hungary. Just saw Lake Balaton. So, wow, that's a cool place. Oh my goodness, have we got it? I don't believe it. So that's it, is it? That's gotta be it, man. I don't believe it. So how did that happen? So, this is what I clicked on. I told you it looks similar. Um, it's got the it's the clock tower thing that really did it, isn't it? Which I thought of quite early on, but then I thought I thought against it for some reason. I just didn't think it would come up with results. But in the end, clock tower is clearly a more rare thing. Having a clock tower on a church steeple, a two in one, it's clearly more of a thing than I thought. And that looks quite different. And I didn't think for one minute that that was it because. It looked a little bit different to me, but also there's one of them, right? There's, it's not a twin. Why would they just photo one and not the other? Because two is more impressive than one. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's just confirm. Have I totally embarrassed myself here? No, okay, yeah. No, that's fine. Let's get the man down here. Don't do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're in. Right. Please say this is right. Yeah, that's right, because we've got that yellow building there. Oh, bugger it. Yeah, so that, that's it. That is amazing. Zeged, Hungary. So I was, I was concentrating on Poland far too much. That is the other bank of the river. That's a nice big river. It looks bigger on Google Earth than it does in the photo. Um, Hungary, I did say towards the end, yeah, this could definitely be Hungary. Now, Hungary can, to me... Um, maybe to better GeoGuessr players, it doesn't. But to me, Hungary can look a lot like Poland at times. Um, so that's why I was so caught up in Poland. I kind of, yeah, just disregarded Hungary a bit too much. But Poland was just my starting point, really. I wanted to rule it out because it was a main contender for me. But 
Hey, we've done it. I won't ramble anymore. Let's see if we can figure out exactly which kind of post we are we are by. I would say that that one is in line with those trees or there or thereabouts. I can draw a, t a line from the top of that building straight down through Julietta's head down to the floor. So that's what I'm going to do on Google Earth. From there No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it. That one there is very rusty and then there's one kind of blob of electricity stuff. Which you can see there. And so this one I think is is this one here. Oh, what am I doing? I'm putting it there. That's think GeoGuessr. Right, I've got 25 meters either way. So I'm, yeah, I'm happy to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna write you in, Julieta Thelson Thremba. That's where I'm putting your marker. On the banks of the river Tisa in the southern reaches of Hungary. And that's job done today. That is two, done, two, not so hard ones, uh, but nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you understand uh, that I can't spend too much time on these over the next two or three or four weeks. I'll try my best. I will try my best. Um, and if, if the work is going well, if the editing is going well, I'll, uh, I'll spend a day uh, making a, a more difficult one for you uh, to reward you for your patience. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed that. Hungary and Estonia. Zeged and Tallinn. Beautiful. Next time, who have we got? Wow. Okay. Interesting. Difficult, I would say. Bring them on. See you next week. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra.